What is going on guys welcome back in this video today we're going to learn how a single invisible character can mess up all of your python code so let us get right into it all right so we're going to learn in this video today how a single character can completely destroy your workflow without you even noticing or without you even understanding why so imagine it's a normal day in your life as a programmer, you're working on a project, you're working with a data set, and you want to automate a process using this data. So for example, the data set could contain a collection of contact information for potential clients, and the automation goal could be to automatically send emails to those potential clients to offer collaboration opportunities, for example. And let's say our data set here is data.com. XLSX. This is just a sample data set that I prepared here. I'm going to open it in LibreOffice since I'm on Linux here. And you want to take a look at it because maybe it's the result of a web scraping process. So you want to make sure that the data looks fine. And you can see we have some basic emails here. Of course, all of them are made up, but those could be real emails. The format is fine. And we now want to automate the process using this data, or maybe the process is already automated and has worked for a lot of data sets before. So maybe we have something like import pandas SPD, and then we load the data frame here, pandas read Excel in this case, and we read the file data.xlsx. And then we print the data frame to see if it still looks normal. And everything looks fine. So what we do is we have some function here, for example, uh, that sends an email to a given email to a given target email. And it works for a couple of entries. And then all of a sudden, nothing works anymore, even though maybe this process has worked in the past. Um, every time now it doesn't work, it crashes, and you don't even know why because it's not that the mail does not exist. It's some other error, maybe something about encoding if you use uh, the email package or the SMTP lib package in Python, or maybe your whole workflow is even a different one. So you're not sending emails, you're doing something else, but you encounter the problem that something doesn't work in the encoding. And you again, print the data frame, and it doesn't look odd. So what's the problem here? Then maybe you do some debugging and you realize that the problem is this email here, tutorials at neural9.com or maybe some other mail, but one specific email causes the problem. So what you do is you take that email, you take this specific email here, and you want to see what the problem is, it looks it looks normal. So why doesn't it work? Why can I not send an email to it? Then maybe you type it manually, and it works. And then what you do is you compare, okay, is this email not the same thing as I just wrote? So tutorials at neural nine.com. Is this not the case? And you see it says false. Why is this false? The the email value was in fact, actually, as we saw df email values to is exactly tutorials at neural nine.com. So why doesn't it work? And you probably saw it in the thumbnail already. The problem is that there is a zero width byte. So a byte that cannot be spotted by just looking at the text, and you will probably not see it in most applications, not in the terminal, not in a lot of uh, spreadsheet applications. I'm not sure if Microsoft Office Excel shows it. I think only Office shows it. So if I open this file here in only Office, it should be visible, I think. There you go that here, there is a byte, but it's only visible in this view here, it doesn't show it up here. But you can see that there's some character in here, which messes up everything. So actually, you will see that if I try to encode, not this value here, but the actual value from the data frame, if I try to encode this as an ASCII character, or as an ASCII string, uh, this doesn't work because it cannot encode the character u 200 D, which is a zero width joiner. And we can do the same thing with um, with the B character. So the, the bytes that that can be affected by this are uh, multiple, but some of them are backslash u 200 D, which is the one that we have here, backslash u 200 B, backslash u 200 C and others as well. But those are bytes that you don't usually see they're zero width bytes, meaning they don't take take up any space. And that is a huge issue. Because if you try to send an email to this email here, you're not actually sending to the email that you see, because there is a character that is not displayed here. 
So I'm not sure if we can actually see this. Maybe if I turn this into bytes or bytes. Wasn't there a bytes function? No, I think we need to also we need to specify an encoding. I'm not sure how the bytes function works. But there are these invisible bytes in this string here, and we cannot just uh, keep them there because they mess up the whole code. Because now the email uh, policy maybe doesn't allow for these bytes for these characters because it cannot encode them. So what you need to do if something breaks down because of the formatting is you have to see if the actual bytes, uh, if, if the actual um, uh, characters, if all the individual characters of your string are the ones you see, or if there are some hidden bytes that you cannot see. So for example, here, maybe I can try to, uh, to encode this. I'm not sure if we're going to see it if I encode it here as UTF dash eight. There you go. So here you can see it here. Uh, tutorials at NUR, and then we see here some bytes. And then all nine. So neural nine, but in between we have this zero with joiner. And you can actually try to construct this yourself, you can go ahead now and say my string. And you can say my string equals hello world. And if you now go ahead and you try to encode this as ASCII, that's not a problem, you have hello world and you encode it here as hello world in ASCII. However, if I add here, and, and by the way, I can also print my string here to show you what it looks like. It's an ordinary my string, as you can imagine. But now I can also add here maybe between the O and the R, I can say u 200 D. So backslash u 200 D, I'm placing a byte here manually, a Unicode byte. Um, and when I print this, you will see that the message is still hello world, it doesn't show any difference here. But you can see that it now says it cannot be encoded because the position in position eight, um, we have a problem with this zero with joiner. So that is uh, what what is causing a lot of problems in applications. And if you don't know about this, it might mess up your code and you cannot even realize why because maybe you open it in LibreOffice, you don't see anything, you open it up in pandas, you don't see anything. You look at the value itself, you print it, you don't see anything. And you just ask yourself, what is the problem here? All of these pi uh, all of these characters here are just basic ASCII characters. Why can I not encode this? Why can I not send this um, email? What's the problem? And how do you fix that? Obviously, I think this is the easy part here. Fixing it is as easy as just saying my string dot replace, and then just replacing the u 200 D by nothing. And I think we need to assign this, right? I think so. There you go. So that is enough. And of course, now I can also do the same thing with backslash u 200 B. Uh, this would also cause a problem and C would also cause a problem. But you can of course, also filter those out. So I can just copy this. And I can change this to B, I can change this to C and you can take care of other characters as well. But this is a byte or those are some bytes that can really mess up your code and you don't even understand why. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.